The police's involvement in a domestic burglary begins the moment you call. If the burglary is still going on, call 999 and we'll send an officer straight away. If it's already taken place, call 101. Officers will come to your house as soon as possible. If the burglary is still going on, then different levels of response will be sent, depending on circumstances and availability. If the burglary has already happened, a witness statement is either a written or video account from the victim or a witness to an offence uh, or an incident type. Um, in that, we'd try and get all the details of what we could, uh, whether that be uh, details of property that's been stolen, other witnesses or any offenders, descriptions and things like that. We'd try and get as much detail as possible within that statement so that it's uh, the best chance to lead up to an arrest. After the statement is done, you'll be given the opportunity to, to read through it, sign it and confirm it as it can be used in court as a legal document. As part of the victim's code as well, you can actually uh, choose to make what's called a victim personal statement. And this is how it's made you feel, how the incident's made you feel in your own home, for example, in a burglary, whether you, you feel safe in your own home, and that can be used in court as well. You'll be given the contact details after the statement of the officer that's in the case and how you would like to be updated. As part of the victim's code, you'll be uh, updated at any point and the outcome of the case, whatever that may be, uh, at the end of the investigation. We then perform house-to-house -house inquiries to gather information, as well as reviewing nearby CCTV footage. Officers will look for forensic evidence, like fingerprints or footprints, and if found, a crime scene investigator will attend. I'm a crime scene investigator whose role it is to forensically investigate scenes of serious or volume crime, examining, recording and recovering evidence from these scenes. At a burglary, I'll examine the point of entry, point of exit and also look at areas where the offender has disturbed or made a search. I'll carry out and search for shoe marks and recover those. I'll also do a search for trace evidence such as fibres and recover items for DNA and any other items that are relevant. I'll carry out a fingerprint examination and also I may well take photographs of any evidence that I've recovered. If you discover a burglary, I would say it is very important not to disturb the scene. This is so that we have the greatest chance to recover any vital forensic evidence. Lastly, if you notice anything out of place or untoward after I've left the burglary, then please do not hesitate to get back in touch. Fingerprints are run against our national database for a match. If a match is found, officers will look to find and arrest the suspect. After a statement is taken, officers will leave contact details and ask you how regularly you'd like to be contacted with any developments. The investigation is then handed over from reactive officers to the burglary unit. This is how a case is dealt with when it reaches the burglary unit. It's allocated to a detective sergeant who does a, an initial review on that. And what they're looking for is any fast track actions that can come out of that. So, um, any forensics, any CCTV, any witnesses. So that can be allocated to an officer as soon as possible to make sure that we maximise the chances of actually getting that through. The second reason why they do a review is looking for locations, uh, method of entry, day or night offences. That's how we can put a patrol strategy in place, which will obviously reduce the chances of uh, burglaries occurring in that area. Modern police work is around methodical um, and systematic checks, reviewing CCTV, using e-fits and photo books, um, along with the media, are some of the tools we use to, to tackle this crime. This is where you, the public, play a pivotal role. It's through lack of evidence why many burglaries are left unsolved. It's your eyewitness accounts and the information you provide is crucial to bringing suspects to justice. If clear CCTV images are found, they are shared within the police force and sometimes released to the media. Photo fit profiles will be generated providing there's a good description of the suspect. If the public recognise the suspect, they should contact the police straight away. You can report information anonymously via Crime Stoppers or by contacting the police directly on 101. We can't stress enough how important it is for witnesses to come forward to help us gather as much evidence as possible. It's often because of a lack of evidence that many burglaries after being investigated result in no further police action. However, if new evidence comes to light, the case can be reopened. If a suspect is identified, we'll look for and arrest them. 
They'll be taken into custody, where we'll interview and ask them about the evidence we've gathered. Suspects may be asked to participate in a video identification parade or Viper. During a Viper, a video profile of the suspect is shown and the witnesses will be asked to identify the suspect from amongst at least 11 other images. Even after a positive ID, the suspect may dispute identification and provide an alibi. If this is the case, the suspect will either be kept in custody or released on bail whilst inquiries take place to confirm the alibi or review evidence. Once the evidence is gathered, the files are presented to legal representatives from the Crown Prosecution Service. They will decide whether there is a realistic prospect of conviction. If we have good enough evidence, a quick decision will be sought from the CPS. From here, one of two actions can be taken. If the Crown Prosecution Service decides the case shouldn't go to court, the suspect will be released without charge or released on bail while the police carry out further inquiries. If the Crown Prosecution Service decide the case should go to court, the suspect will be charged and given a court date. If there is a risk of further offences being committed or the suspect not attending the court hearing, they may be sent to prison on remand. Now you've seen what's involved in a burglary investigation, you know the vital part you can play in coming forward with any information. If you want to find out about crime in your area and what the police and criminal justice agencies are doing to tackle it, type your postcode into police.uk.